What's good, YouTube? Hey, YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And uh, however, whenever you're watching the show, we appreciate you because, you know, time is expensive. And uh, this is a show where we feel that uh, Ben Affleck looks like Paul Rudd in Daredevil movie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of Daredevil, we're looking at today Daredevil, Man Without Fear. Without Fear. And uh, in this particular one, why we're looking at it is because it's one of our favorite artists, Lee Weeks. And we showcase these two books um, in that Modern Master book that we looked at. And uh, if you haven't seen that episode, we'll leave a link down below. And this is probably at the peak of his run on Daredevil. And he started out on 284. And that was like right after Jared Jarrett kind of stepped down and Ralph Macchio was looking for uh, a fill-in. And this, that was opportunity for Lee Weeks. Um, and his goal for that was to execute the best Daredevil book that he ever could draw. And, you know, especially following uh, Mezzicelli and, um, and JRJR and, and Frank Miller, what they what they laid down. Like, he wants to live up to that standard. Yeah, great story, Zoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And, um, and during this run, he was able to work with one of his uh, one of his favorite artists, Al Williamson. And like we mentioned, uh, like in Modern Master, he was able to meet him while he was at uh, while he was attending Hebrew School because his, uh, his studio was not too far off. Uh -huh. And so, like full circle, he was able to work with him. You yeah, know, let it cool, right? And like and on this run he felt the most confident as an artist. Um, just uh, especially having uh, that little episode where he just felt burnt out. And mm -hmm. like now, like he felt like his skills was up to par. Yeah, when he came back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, he really like working with Anna Senti, um, he, he thought it was like really like a, a pleasant experience working with her you know like but politically he wasn't really down with what she had to say I guess but, right, right. but he was like he had fun and it was like a good experience but he felt more like at home I guess more comfortable artistically with you know uh, with Dan uh, uh, Chester mm -hmm. or side Chester uh, uh, how you want to pronounce it mm -hmm. but um, it's a DG but it's Dan uh, he calls him Dan <laughs> But Dang. yeah, so I guess they're on that level of friendship where you <laughs> can call them first name basis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. So and then, um, yeah, and he was really channeling, um, you know, Milton Kniff, uh, Alex Toth, and um, mainly just yeah, mainly mainly those two I believe, and because he was looking into a lot of the, the Terry and the pirates. So, I mean, uh, we're, we are missing 294, but it would have been cool if we had it. But, yeah, I mean, we'll start from here and then just work into it because it's pretty cool. Daredevil and Punisher. Yeah. Man. Like, precursor to the Marvel Knights. Yeah, that's why I just picked this up because they look cool. And I was a big Daredevil fan, like, back in the day, still is. Murder by numbers. Pencils by Lee Weeks. Written by DG. Shishester. Of course, Dan. Dan <laughs> Shishester. Nice. But yeah. Ooh, we got the Taskmaster up in here. Mm. It's pretty cool. So, in this issue of 293, why Taskmaster is here, and we see Tombstone fighting him fighting with Punisher is because Punisher is trying to take out them two, but Daredevil is, of course, wanting to be the balance, is trying to prevent that. Yeah, that's a good movement, though. Yeah, very fluid. And he full out drew it. Full. And total curvy. Yeah, dang, it's crazy. Yeah. Come up from Magic Kelly. Oh, yeah, definitely. Silhouette. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. So he's from like year one, almost. Yeah, or maybe just from this uh, early Daredevil. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's oh, that's right, that's right. So that's pretty cool. The Born Again. Yeah, yeah. With a nook, right? Yes, sir. 
It's like you can really learn from his fight sequences. Yeah, good fight scene. Very fluid. Sweep the leg. <laughs> See with Taskmaster, he can uh, do the same moves, mimic your moves. Mm. So he has, Daredevil has to come up with a move that he's never done before. So you gotta like break the rhythm. Man, so but then it's kind of hard. Right, knowing that, how, like how yourself, as a martial artist, how do you know yourself to do that? And you know? how do you train yourself to do that? Using the sonar, yeah, they're double still over it. I like his, he always like, I like that mixing of uh, every other panel they throw in the silhouette. Oh, yeah, yeah. like a nice break of uh, storytelling. Totally, I know it, right? Almost, yeah, 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 definitely. So, he's definitely channeling and carrying over what they've, yeah, done. yeah. he did his studies for sure. It's totally cool, yeah, man. He really drew. That leg nice. It's really hard to do sometimes. Yeah. Like how much how much ankle do you show? How much or more thigh do you do without looking so bulky? Yeah. Big. Yeah. 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 That's cool. And it's probably like just from these this book alone you can learn a lot. Then again, look, another silhouette. Oh, Breakdowns, yeah. foreground, it's cool. Nice framing. Like yeah. That. It's a good frame. As if someone's watching from the shadows, huh? Yeah. Like a Christopher Nolan uh, aerial shot. Yeah. See, that's a cool thing about comics. You can be the whatever camera angle you want. Right. You're like, you are the director. Yeah, <laughs> you are the people in the movie, in the story. It's like, you know, Lee stated, like, I, I read through more of that Modern Masters, and, like, he stated when he was a kid, like, you don't really have eyes to see all an artist is doing. Like, a real master until you rest, wrestle with a process for yourself, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, that is solely, totally true, that when you're writing and drawing your own stuff, or when, like, when I write it for you, mm -hmm. and it's like, and you seeing how the process, that like, you break it down, Thumb, thumbnail to finals like whoa like it's like totally like again like pulled from my mind or there's an angle that I didn't see you know so it's like it's to it's totally cool and like as an artist you progress and like to develop that eye right you right know? yeah exactly like shooting like the more you make it the more you yeah. get better it's like here, you know, I'm pretty sure he is reason the ruler, but you know, artists are, you know, definitely gifted with an eye to do it freehand. Oh, yeah. You know, like Jim Lee, he, seeing him how he would just eyeball perspective. Yeah. You know? And it's really to see it in your mind. Yeah, definitely your mind's eye, how to see it on that, on that paper. Yeah. yeah. And it's like you really see the, the, the Toth and uh, uh, Milton Kniff with the, with, with the shadows. This is totally cool. And just spotting the blacks and shadows that's awesome in, in the room looking and like with Al Williamson he really drew every line yeah because I remember like how we talked about like how how you're gonna execute his align art because then his pencils were like like really tight enough right yeah and this was the panel in the uh, modern masters yeah oh that, that's right that is right oh my gosh this is yeah Al Williamson really like it looked like he really stayed true to what was what was penciled, mm -hmm. and and you know Al Williamson is really known for his collaborations with you know like Frank Frank Bazetta, um, uh, Bernie Wrightson, and just, Wrightson you know and it's like you you adopt something from their pencil, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But you also have also have to make that correct judgment of how much um, 
brush um, pressure add to those line arts. You know what I mean? Especially if you I don't know if you're using brush or a pen, but and yeah, look at this. It's that's kind of cool. Like he doesn't black out the coin or whatever. The, yeah, that yeah, that's really cool. But then he still awaited the hand, so it's it's, it's a good like camera trick. Mm -hmm. And yeah, look, pencil, ink. Like you, you're still able to bring up the illu silhouette, illuminate, yeah. yeah, illuminate, illuminate the, yeah. And then no digital, no digital. Right here, two. I wonder if this paper was like precursor to for the image for image <laughs> right. or they took some of it from that little comics right or like I wonder if it's like leftover and they took the printer I'm like hey you know we could work with this yeah right. there's still paper left over yeah cause I mean able if they're able to do this oh yeah right so maybe they got maybe people editors did get an idea like hey maybe you can use glossy yeah Paper. And then they Mix. hence they, they charge more for the issues right. as they close. Right, and that's how they can milk it more. But man, I, I, I wish they stick to use print. It's just the art just looks yeah. a lot more better. Bring the pen a lot better. It's Taskmaster's face. I never seen Taskmaster's face before. Yeah, yeah, I never. They never showed it. Like, or at least we don't watch a lot of the cartoons. Maybe then. Seeing this is like Lee stated in that, uh, like again, Modern Master, that he became a six, uh, a six year overnight success. <laughs> it's like, man, like you, that is so true. I mean, Rick Remender said, 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 uh, said the same thing mm -hmm. in an interview. Like, he did a lot of like 12 year, nine, 12, nine year grind before yeah. you became anything. Yeah, man, that's, that's, for, that's love right there yeah. for your craft. Hell yeah. It's so like, like, no, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. Even it might take a while, but this is what I'm doing. Right, right. And it's like, this is the couple that is. The moon coming through the window. Mm. And look, yeah, and Al, and Al if you really staying true to that line, I did. That was really tight. Look, you only have to draw the rest of the room. It's just how that plays out. It just is cool. Oh, yeah. So look, even here. Yeah. learn from that composition in shadow, spotting the blacks, that toast, that kniff and vibe. Right. It's like awesome. Now I know what to do like noir style. Right, right. Or black and white. Like spotting more blacks, right? Like Yeah. But having to rely on color. Glass clover. Shadow wow. on the wall, but then so clever, clever. Look, and look, just this moment alone, he just leaves it empty. Mm -hmm. Right, like like a downplay moment. Right, like he's feeling empty. Yeah. Or for the, just whatever that movie mm -hmm. you're saying right there. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a joke. No, no time he actually wrote that. Drew it down. That's that, that does look like his hand on it. Yeah, handwritten. It's pretty cool. Damn, and he does lettering. Hmm. Yeah, logo. Yeah. Or logo these ones. Hmm. Oh wow, look at that. No, yeah, seriously, there is no... Oh, he didn't, he didn't mark it. He just did everything else in, in between. So you can see the, the little bit. Oh, yeah, right here, huh? Yeah, but look, he's like, he's, he's just going in between the lines and just uh, relying on the colors to go after that. That's cool. And that silhouette again, really laying down. So, uh, the vanishing will be here, huh? Probably, yeah, you could probably do it that way. See, it looks like a lot to draw, but you when you draw the main points and then you just, yeah. 
And then from there, it just had to keep adding. Hmm. And then it looked for a while. That's really cool. And it took me a while, but he's actually the angles through the banister. So this is radar sense. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wow. That's, okay. So he's radaring right now. Oh, and now it's just bouncing off over. Okay, cool. It's tight. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's cool. You want to draw everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Makes it pop. So, like, focal point, like, you know? Yeah. Yep, yep. Nice framage. That's cool. I get that. Oh, that's a cool poster. Something so simple. And it's like, you know who it is. Just off the radar. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know who it is. Probably gotta pop out his horn a little bit, but yeah, for the most part. <clears throat> and look who's back in the scene. Punisher. Come out of nowhere. Yeah, I know. Where are you going? <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. Well, was he the whole time? Got this clown guy here. Yeah. Daredevil got him full Nelson. <laughs> so, hit him in the sternum. Probably works. Call it below. Try it. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Try these. Try it all. Try it on your little brother. <laughs> or sister. Um, uh, yeah, he popped out of nowhere. But you know, I guess that's what makes him sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like that John Wall panel, huh? Uh, yep, yep, yep. The harbor. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool background. Nice frame background, mid ground, foreground. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like sometimes in the back, it doesn't have to be black. It like, could be another color. Like solid black, yeah, for sure. Like if anything, you could probably just cross hatch it like a certain way, you know? Yeah. So do like a purple, blue, like all nighttime. Mm -hmm. nice. So to tunes out, I don't know where he goes. We don't know because we don't have 294, so we're just probably just going to jump on through the 295 because we want to get the this Ghost Rider. Playground. <laughs> so in this issue of 295, uh, Daredevil and Ghost Rider take on the hand for because they are kidnapping New Yorkers. So I don't know if it's like some sort of uh, you know hand cult sacrifice type deal. Yeah. I mean I don't know if it continued off from 294. But yeah, it looked like it was going there, but Daredevil got in before. So, Any I mean, action. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if Ghost Rider is there, then some then spiritual, yeah, some yeah, some miscellaneous <laughs> spiritual out and about, <laughs> necromancing stuff. So we got type deal. DD jumping out the window. We got G Rider. It's a cool use of a long panel knowing that he's gonna jump down. Yeah. Right? You would not be like, oh, I would never, like, I don't know, I would probably draw a panoramic, but not like that thing. Right. There it is. Boom. The money shot. Sick. Almost like a Marvel Knights precursor, huh? Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome, definitely. It's pretty awesome, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee Weeks. Mr. Weeks. Mr. Through the eyes of the enemy. So, yeah, it's probably the. Point. Let's go see the ships. That's Battle Toads! <laughs> awesome game. Almost like turtle gameplay, huh? Yeah, yeah. Find that. It's right. cool. Ra radar. Sonar. Yeah, again, 
he really knows how to draw that leg. That leg power. Yeah. Right here, huh? Mm hmm. Let's study that. Like, just that pose. Study that, right? And draw it. Because anyone can use it, right? Cap. No, Cap. Daredevil. Well, Nightwing, Batman. Black, uh, Black Panther. Robin. Robin. Catwoman. Catwoman. Silver Fox. I love me some ninjas though. Yeah. It's like, Can't go wrong with ninjas. Is that is that that's why you pretty much got Daredevil. Yeah. Like, it's like that's a whole ninja. Batman. Yeah, yeah Batman, Daredevil, I just I just love ninjas. <laughs> they are cool. Ever since I was a kid, I just pretended to be a ninja. <laughs> And it's like you really see that, like on this, you really see his passion in drawing again. It's like just seeing the love in every line that he's putting. And Al Williamson is not holding out; like he's really staying true. It's like that's really tight. That's really cool. You learn a lot. That's cool. Ghost Rider too. Yeah, man. that balance of mixing it in silhouettes and I always have to draw everything out. Good perspective. Totally. It's awesome. Yeah, and it's like, you really, you can, like I just wonder, I wonder the discussions between Lee and Dan, what, like what they're talking about, like how, how much freedom is Artistically, is mm -hmm. Dan letting me go for? You know, mm -hmm. It's like storytelling is there. I mean, other than here, it was like a little bit of like hiccup as far as like where did Punisher come from? Right. Right. That's right. That's the end of the circus. But besides that point, it's like he's able to execute the you know storytelling element more importantly. You know. I wonder. He, do you think he got a Marvel plot or Marvel script? Um, well, Snapple fact, uh, the, uh, the DG was, like, uh, assistant to, uh, Jim Shooter. Oh. Yeah, so it was, like, and then he, that led him to becoming, uh, like, editor at, uh, Marvel's Epic, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. pub publishing company. Yeah. Um, imprint. And, uh, you know, maybe he's just, you know, just taking in that gym shooter element as far as like storytelling like you know establishing the you know part yeah, yeah and then just go from there but and have fun with it yeah yeah so you know and then you know speaking of fun it's like you really see lee going at it like really showing yeah everything like yeah. that's pretty taking those sides and putting <laughs> ghost writer that's awesome mm -hmm. and it has the comics code <laughs> right boom it's cool. It's like we don't even need the comics code at this point anymore. <laughs> For real. Because, <laughs> I mean, if there was, like, pos possession and demon souls, it was like, come on now. <laughs> vampires. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like, I thought you can't have vampires. <laughs> they right? Did, they did Night Stalkers. He wrote Night Stalkers. Uh, DG. <laughs> oh, man. And you got Morbius. Right? It's like, it's the living vampire. <laughs> So he's getting uh, the memory uh, from the smell. Oh yeah, cause the the, the gland and the smell they share mm -hmm. the same uh, uh, pathways. Yeah. So then I guess it's mixed with. Huh. And I wonder what memories he gets from Ghost Rider. I wonder what their former encounters were. Right. So this is Baron Strucker. Oh. Without the uh, eyeglass piece. Oh, right there it is. <laughs> yeah, Baron Von Strucker. Really good arm. Bridgman esque. <laughs> mm -hmm. Image esque. 
Yeah, I'm down to draw more pipes soon. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Yeah. That's pretty like, cool, Ghost Rider. I'm like, besides from. Uh, who also worked with, um, was it Howard, Howard Mackey? Howard Mackey. Like, who was it? Who he did uh, Danny Ketch. Yeah, with Andy Kubert. Oh, Andy Kubert, okay. And Kuber, and uh, also as well as Drew uh, Wolverine. Right, right. So this is uh, Danny Ketch, his Ghost Rider, without the man. Oh, okay, without yeah. Danny. Something happened. <laughs> Probably just got drained. Yeah. He got swiped. Oh, too much uh, memory stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. Just I think you drained him from that. Yeah, just that whole, okay, just from this moment. Yeah, the uh -huh. penance there. Yeah, yeah, got it. So that's her that he's... Nah, okay, okay. I can no longer bear it. So like, it shows Unless... where, where she came from and where the sword came from. Right. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Right. They're double pretty cool. <laughs> Ninjas. I bought a pack of these. Did you really? One pack. It was kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's alright. I've never seen them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Totally Frank Miller. Yeah. <laughs> and then Toddy. Oh, yeah. Todd McFarlane spawned all day, every day. Affirmative all day. <laughs> So that's really no. Yeah, that's just me. Oh yeah, the cover. Uh, when a uh, number one cover. I think so. That's a nice cityscape. Nice so, TV station. Yeah, Fisky owns. Wow. Yeah, so he's telling him what to say. Dude, Lee did not shorthand any of these. Good look, look how precise. Yeah. He did not shorthand that, any of that. He must have really, really, really sharp pencils. Above and below sounds like Outcast album. <laughs> <laughs> so right here are the uh, city officials. Hmm. Or is that a rare word? Oh, yeah. The important people in the city. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I guess you gotta dumb it down. Yeah. Man, it really makes me want to look in Terry and like Terry and the Pirates. Like, what is it that he got influence from? Mm -hmm. you know, I, I want to see that storytelling. So Daredevil is one of his uh, street intel. Huh. Yeah. He's actually uh, kind of like a mentor to him. Uh, kind of like an AA type guy. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, you get you staying out of trouble, man. <laughs> so much of the way. Yeah, that's cool. As if the camera is right behind them. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's like sad. You know, sadly, like we've been on the hunt for more of the back issues of these. And it's like, you know, yeah, if the trade's there, it's there. But it's like I don't know. It kind of doesn't really do any justice sometimes. It's like. Like again, like we want to see it on use print, the storytelling, and they are reprinting that, the epic collections. Uh, th that's what it is, right? With the Marvel, the, the thick ones, thick ones, yeah. and like it's all gloss and white paper. It's like yeah, essentials. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Essentials, but the, those are paperback. Kind of. Like, but then black and white, right? Yeah. So I mean, I, I'll be on the hunt for those too, but. Uh, so it's like two ninety five. And we kind of wish we had more, and because issue three hundred, like just reading more of the interview, he, uh, Ralph Macchio was asking for thirty eight pages on a five week deadline. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and he he turned it in with the cover, penciled, ink, all of that. With six days left on the deadline, with an extra page of thirty nine. And he did not skimp. No, no. And it's like that's probably 
to like Jack Kirby stand at desk and like yawn, nothing. Because Jack Kirby does like how many pages a day? I don't know if that's a myth, but a legend, but that's why Jack Kirby is a legend. See, you can, you can appreciate guys that do it traditionally at that type of deadline as opposed to someone with the same deadline but using digital. Oh yeah, and then it's like, yeah, that control Z can be your friend, yeah. but it's like, I don't know. But then again, that's when they do everything, including color. So it's like you can't make mistakes on color. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you have to turn it out on a certain deadline. Or you rely on the color to hide a lot of things. A lot and, of blacks. And it's, shadows. It's, it's, it's noticeable. Mm-hmm. And, but I don't know. It's just with digital, sometimes it's really lifeless. Mm-hmm. And when you look at something like Lily Weeks again, it's just you see a lot of life and that passion into comics. Yeah. storytelling at that yeah you know? like he really loves storytelling yeah so I mean it would be cool if we can find that issue 300 and just really dive into that that hard work that he did with six days left yeah man totally something to look for at you know cause yeah. free market oh yeah I mean it's like a lot I mean a lot of stories here in, in, in the city don't have back, back issues but you know if we do see a back issue long box somewhere like we don't mind perusing yeah going through it <laughs> So yeah, and I mean, and then right after this, after the 300th issue, that was you know sales were popping, and um, he was comfortable, and he was like he was getting a lot of deals from Dark Horse. He did uh, the Gambit miniseries right after this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so be coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll do a video on that one. Yeah. But it's like, but yeah, I mean, just seeing seeing uh, reading his journey and uh, as a creator and like he's human too that you know that he burnt out and. Like, he, want, he needed to get away yeah. and like you know it's totally understandable as a human being we all go through that yeah. you know some do it shorter some do it longer like right. just taking that break to reset yeah not everyone's Wolverine not everyone has like fast healing factor yeah. and, and the, he still goes through torment at that so right. like, it's, it's those memories you have to right. go through and to get creative you have to do nothing sometimes yeah you gotta do nothing yeah just it may sound lazy but really you're just recharging yeah and you do it isn't it like you're doing something other than comics drawing yeah, but absolutely. you're still thinking doing something else yeah i think on the next big project yeah you know finding a love somewhere else oh yeah oh yeah and you know especially i was you know finding love somewhere else you know he was able to do uh find do guitar work you know oh, play shit. the guitar oh yeah. there you go shit yeah he comics was, and music hand in hand oh yeah Storytelling, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of musicians who are comic artists, you know, so, or vice versa, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. so. But yeah, you know, if you guys are a fan of Lee Weeks and, you know, Daredevil, and you've never seen these before, please, if you find it, whatever bin that you find it in, you know, give it a good home, and, you know, and, uh, yeah, support Lee Weeks, and I think yeah. he's still doing some current work. Um, so Batman's yeah, maybe I think so I mean, we, we gotta look into it we got some current stuff from 2013 and you know we'll kind of end it with a motivational quote for y'all to go forward with uh, this one's an Irish proverb and it states may you live to be a hundred and decide the rest for yourself nice and um, you know that's you know kind of just going back uh, to Lee Weeks and his, his journey is like like he got that gift of rebirth yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know after his sure. burnout you know what I mean and it's like he decided there like I want to be a better person yeah. a better man better better father yeah. right and Hence like one of the chapters is rebirth <laughs> right, right right and then and then look he pumped out good good uh, awesome you know daredevil work and you know right it's like how you wouldn't if he were to keep going and then burned out and I don't know if we were to get this type of work you know yeah again it's like who knows where he would have gone you know down a different route or you know just who knows but you know but it just always seemed like faith and his his passion always found him and always reminded him where he needed to go yeah Yeah. so oh yeah yeah so you know stay creative tell your story you know stay good be good Peace. peace